So I want to show you how easy it is to steal the email password from an iPhone, just doing it over wireless. Incredibly straightforward, and it's all to do with, frankly, that it's very easy to accept an invalid SSL certificate on an iPhone. So I've got some scripts here, and all this does is just I'm going to throw up a fake wireless access point. So we're using some tools, Airbase and Etikap, to do an SSL man-in-the-middle attack. So what we're going to be doing is sitting there, wait for the iPhone to join our um, fake wireless network, and then we're going to offer it an SSL certificate based upon the one it's looking for from the mail server it's trying to receive mail from, but then fake it. There's only a, a few bytes of difference within an SSL certificate, but it's enough to do the man-in-the-middle attack. So all I'm doing, I've got Airbase, which is a wireless tool you can get hold of very easily. It's part of the Backtrack distribution. I'm running a DHCP server, so we can give it an IP address. And then um, down at the bottom, we're using Etikap to do our man-in-the-middle attack, basically capturing the SSL certificate, modifying it, and sending it back to the device. Um, I'm actually running an access point, a fake access point called BT Opens Name for the sake of, frankly, it's the most popular access point name out there, but we could call it pretty much anything. We could even use tools like the, the wireless pineapple to do this on the fly for us. Now, obviously, the, uh, the iPhone doesn't send its credentials in the clear. It uses SSL-based encryption. The problem is, is the error message. If you try to um, synchronize your email with an invalid SSL certificate, you get this error message. Now, it's so straightforward. It says, cancel details or continue in blue. And frankly, I think the majority of people would simply forget continue. And so just by accepting that invalid certificate, you can now see the password's popped up here um, to the user's email account. So I can now log into their mail, do anything I want, steal their identity that works. Now the issue is, is the fact that the SSL certificate warning, the invalid SSL certificate, the error is very basic. It's not red, it doesn't flash. If you compare that to the error with an Android phone, for example, it tells you not to do it. A Windows phone, rare as they are, it's actually impossible to accept an invalid SSL certificate in most configurations. So I really think Apple needs to make these errors red so people understand that accepting an invalid SSL certificate is really, really bad. It's going to result in your password being pinched.